Welcome back friends. When we left you last week, we were in a chop shop in Derry getting a tire change after one had failed in pretty spectacular fashion, leaving us all shook up. That's where we're picking up this week, but things quickly take an upwards turn as we find some awesome beach park ups and take in more of Ireland's spectacular scenery whilst making our way along Donegal's incredible coastline before heading inland and down towards the south coast. All sorted then? All sorted. Two new tyres on the back um, and the spare one, they put the spare one back underneath as well. Really good service here also. They explained um, what sort of tyre would be best on the van for the mileage that it's doing and for the weight that it's carrying and stuff. And um, just yeah, sorted everything out in about half an hour. So can't complain at that. And it was cheaper than we were expecting. Yeah. Yeah, a lot cheaper actually. I was expecting almost double that, like mm. 260 for two new tyres. Like, tyres are expensive these days, man. They certainly are. Anyway, let's go. Vamos! In case you uh, didn't get that, which you probably didn't because I couldn't even really speak I mean, between laughing so much and just not even anything coming out of my mouth because the wind was so strong. Um, anyway, yes, we are at the most northerly point of Ireland at a place called Mallon's Head and yeah, we just thought we'd have a drive up here and have a look. It is absolutely beautiful and we passed a pub on the way up here called Farron's Bar that someone on Instagram had actually messaged us about because their family owns it and said that it's the most northerly bar in Ireland. So we are now gonna hopefully call in there for a good old pint of Guinness. What do you think about this then? I think it's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's wow. one of the wildest places that we've ever camped, I think. Yeah. We're, we're, you know, like right next to the beach and there's not much around. There's some holiday homes. Um, they all look boarded that, up though, don't they? Yeah, there's no one in them at all because there's no cars. Uh, you can't get here without a car. So um, it's just us and the sea and those goats. <laughs> Well, we have just woken up. Well, I say just woken up. We've not just woken up. We get up in the dark these days because of a certain little person back there. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have woken up this morning and oh my gosh. Let me show you guys. That last park up was absolutely gorgeous. We had such a nice time there. The weather was just perfect. Um, but yeah, don't be feeling too envious of us guys because right now we are parked up in a car park. It is chucking it down with rain. Um, we are trying to get our laundry done. It costs an absolute fortune to do it. It's like 30 odd quid for two loads of laundry and drying. Um, yeah, we're just having a bit of an admin day, but 
we are at a fill point so we've already emptied out now we're going to take a shower and we can use as much water as we want have a really nice long hot shower and then we are gonna fill back up again before we get on the road we weren't intending to stop here but the um the route that we had planned to go was meant to take 50 minutes an hour yeah. something like that yeah but actually we started following the wild atlantic way instead and it took us on a really long route which was very scenic but um it would have taken us about three hours to get to where we intended to go <laughs> so we pulled over here it is absolutely pelting it down with rain still yeah but that doesn't bother these two there's a nice park here so they're just going to go and do a little bit of playing out there whilst i cook dinner yeah she's been inside all day so we're just going to have to brave it you know she's got a new a new raincoat, so yeah, we're gonna go for it. <laughs> Gotta get used to this weather here anyway. <laughs> May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. We've been really pleasantly surprised at how easy Ireland has been to travel around in a van. There were just no end of incredible park ups in spectacular scenery. But more than that, we've been made to feel really welcome everywhere that we've been with most people's default being to say a friendly hello and many people coming over for a chat. It's a really relaxed vibe and there seems to be an overwhelmingly open-minded attitude towards campers. While we only tend to stay a night or two in most places, there are lots that we could have spent much longer in with no issues. And as you've seen, even the larger towns and cities have really good, safe, convenient places to stay. In the vast majority of overnight park ups, we've been completely by ourselves. Obviously we imagine it's a bit different in the peak summer months and we know that some of the more popular destinations do get pretty stacked so we'd definitely say that this is a great time of year to visit to avoid the crowds. There are quite a lot of free empty and fill up points which makes it relatively easy to travel without using campsites and most of the facilities are pretty good although there is definitely a distinct lack of bins in Ireland. On the whole it's an extremely safe country and we've certainly felt that even when we've been in city centres or really remote places with absolutely nothing around. In fact, the thing that's been the most intimidating is the wind, and particularly in some of the coastal areas, it can get pretty violent, but that's a small price to pay. Driving in Ireland in general is a great experience. The roads are in really good condition and they're not busy at all. Many of the more rural ones are pretty tight and narrow, but that's not a problem when you're not in a rush. People are even friendly on the roads and many passing motorists will wave at you as they head in the opposite direction. Exploring by van means we've got to see some really remote places and allowed us to see a much wilder side to Ireland that just hasn't been possible on past visits. If you've got any specific questions that you'd like to ask us about driving or camper vanning in Ireland, then drop us a comment down below and we'll do our best to answer them. We have basically made it all the way round the entire coast of Donegal County, right? Pretty much, I think, yeah. Yeah. We, we're in Donegal right now, the Donegal, the town. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to have a little explore here. We actually thought it was a city. Like, we thought it was going to be bigger, didn't we? We did, yeah. But it's tiny. It's like, pretty small. Comparatively. Um, we thought it was going to be more like Belfast or Derry, but, yeah, it's quite small, actually. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a little look around here, see what's going on. Um, there isn't a services point here, but there is one at someone's house or something nearby. Right? Yeah. Like in their back garden or something. Obviously, you've got to pay for it. Um, I think it's a campsite. Yeah, I know, but like the description said, like it was in his back garden. <laughs> so maybe it's just a small campsite. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to try and empty our um, our tanks and fill up there as well while we're here. We've had a little walk around. Then it looks like a lovely town, like lovely, lovely, lovely. However, he was absolutely chucking it down. Right, like it's just yeah. raining so much. The weather's been terrible the last few days. Um, so yeah, we just went to the supermarket, picked up a few bits and then just nipped in one of the pubs and had a couple of pints of Guinness because what else can you do when it's raining, right? Absolutely. <laughs> AD was having to sleep, so you know, that was it. So yeah, we we're going to head back to the van and make some dinner and yeah, probably head off tomorrow.
Well, we are finally on our way down south to Wexford and Ross there, which is where we are going to be leaving Ireland from. And the weather has well and truly turned. It's been raining and it has been very cold over the past few days. So it is finally, I think, proper soup weather. So we are going to be tucking into a nice soup right now. And then we're going to head out this afternoon, hopefully, to enjoy the surroundings because it's a really nice park up that we're in. We managed to get outside for a little bit yesterday, but it started raining and it's been raining pretty much all night. Um, which is fine because it's not windy, like we can sleep, it's fine, it's not not too noisy. Um, but it just makes it a bit rubbish um, because it looks like it's going to rain all day today. Um, looks like there's going to be no let up. So it's no good for a day because, you know, she needs to get outside, move around, get some air and stuff. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to decide what to do for the day, aren't we? <laughs> well, I think we've had all right day <laughs> um, as good a day as you can have when it just piddles it down with rain pretty much from start to finish i know ad and i did manage to get out for a little bit but it was it was so cold as well and really really windy but yeah we went outside for a bit um joseph's been working but now he has knocked up something to make us feel much better comfort about, food yeah the rubbish weather delicious pizza how is it it's really good cool really really good tuck in Well, it's freezing, but it's a much better day today, you know, weather-wise. Yeah, it's an absolutely glorious day today. Um, it's just stunning. It is really cold, like you say, but I don't mind it when the sky is blue, there's no clouds, it's not raining like it was yesterday. <laughs> absolutely pelting it down. Yeah, I think we've all woken up in a fantastic mood as well. We have, we have. Um, so yeah, tell us what's on the uh, agenda today. I forgot what we're doing. We're, we're, got, we're moving, yeah? Yeah, we are moving. We've been here for a couple of days. It's been a really, really nice park up. Despite the weather, I think we've made the most of it. Um, we are going to head on. We're going to travel a bit further south, probably only about 40, 45 minutes, I think, the, um, the town where we're going is. Okay. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it is the second most populous town in the mid regions, apparently. <laughs> okay, sounds great. <laughs> Well, this is a lovely little park up next to the canal. Good find. Absolutely. What's the town called? Mullen? Mullingar, I think. Mullingar. Um, so yeah, we obviously we just went shopping, you saw, and now we are going to go and try and find AD some wellies. We are on a mission. We really need to get her <laughs> some today. We are moving on this morning. We've had a really good time in Mullingar. We didn't know anything about it before we arrived, but having wandered around for a couple of days, it's a really, really nice town. It's um, quite multicultural. There's a lot of good shops, which isn't necessarily up our street, but we needed them um, this weekend because there are a few bits and pieces that we wanted to get. So that was really handy. It's um, about 80 kilometers from Dublin. So I think that kind of explains the sort of town that it is and um, it's just got a lot going on um, it was really nice to having a, a look around and an explore and the park up was lovely as well really quiet by the canal we have parked up at a pub for the night tonight this is the first pub that we've stopped at actually in Ireland um, but we read that they do pretty good food and they allow you to stay in the car park so yeah hopefully it should be a good stop although it's not actually open at the minute it's just over the road there um so yeah we're hoping that it's going to open in a bit and it's going to be okay for us to park here in the meantime ad and i are just about to head out on a little walk and just check out the local area that's where we are then there that little blue arrow so it's just like a little peninsula that we're on in the middle of a lake so yeah quite interesting place well that was another cracking park up last night it was um the pub was not open until about 
quarter to five. I know, we were getting worried, weren't we? Yeah, it was a really <laughs> random time to open as well. We kept checking and it did eventually open. The owners were super friendly. It was absolutely lovely. I know. Unfortunately, they didn't do food. We were hoping to have a meal in there, but we did manage to have a couple of pints and we also bought some local produce from them as well, some honey and stuff like that. So um, it was a really nice stop and they were absolutely in love with AD. They, they did. Adored it. <laughs> they were getting all the like Halloween decorations yeah. out there. They still had up in the pub for so that she could play with them, like all the dancing pub kids and stuff like that. <laughs> she loved it. <laughs> yeah, so overall it was really nice. And um, we stayed in their car park opposite, obviously, and that was very quiet. So a, a nice stopover. Now we have got to empty out all the tanks and the toilet and all that business. We um, have been struggling to find places on the east coast and down south to do that. And apparently it's notoriously difficult in Ireland in this kind of area. So we're aiming for a campsite and we're actually probably going to stay the night or maybe a couple of nights and it's going to be the first campsite that we've stayed in in Ireland. We mentioned that one of the reasons why we were coming to stay at this place was because there aren't that many wild camping options around here. It's not that well catered to in terms of like fill up and empty out points in the um, south of the Republic of Ireland. Um, one of the other reasons though is that because we're only getting about eight or nine hours of daylight a day, our system isn't actually filling up our batteries to the max each day. Whilst it's getting enough to kind of um, top them up, it's not filling them completely. So this place has got electric cook up and that means that we can plug in and get them topped up properly. And that should last us another week or so. And we may have to do it again one more time before we get on the ferry. We may not, we'll see. One other thing to point out about the system as well is that we obviously have the battery to battery charger, which we have used in the past as a top up on our battery system. However, we're driving really short distances at the moment. Island is pretty small and we're going very slow so we're doing about half an hour 40 minutes um, a day if we're going every day uh, so again that's not enough to actually top the batteries up fully and the site that we're on is a really good find because it costs 20 euros a night and that is inclusive of two adults and AD as well and also the electricity is included there are um, free showers quite a lot of the showers that we've come across in uh, campsites and campervan sites in Ireland are paid and and it's got an on-site cafe as well, which is also very nice. Um, I spent the day working in there yesterday and it's just generally a, a really nice place. Something else great about it is that it's got a full recycling area. Whilst we've been able to do a fair amount of recycling whilst we've been in Ireland, there are bits and pieces that we haven't really found anywhere to, to get rid of, such as uh, cardboard mainly. Uh, I don't know why, but it just doesn't seem to be that common in the places that we've been so far, but we've been able to get rid of all of that in the, this recycling area. It's also got a drive over grey water grate, which is again not that common um, from our experience in Ireland. So it's just really well set up here and it is quite cheap as well. I think, you know, for the money that we're paying uh, compared to a lot of other places that we have seen in Ireland very reasonable. It's also washing day to day so we're getting a load of laundry done and um, the machines that they have here in the Republic of Ireland are actually a lot better than the ones that we normally use the revolution ones so they have these speed queen ones and they're in a little building for a start so you're not stood outside in all weather um, but also there's a lot more machines in them so they're the same price but it takes a lot less time because you can do two loads at the same time, which is great. And they also have a machine that is specifically for pet bedding and like dirty stuff. Um, and although you're not supposed to wash those in the Revolution ones, like their signs up, everyone always does. So like it's quite common, well not common actually, it's just happened like once or twice that we've got to a Revolution one and we've looked in them and like there's been like dog hairs and like stuff in so obviously you don't want to wash your clothes and stuff in that but yeah these are great because they've got their own dedicated one for washing that kind of stuff. Alrighty then, that is three weeks worth of laundry done and dusted. 
took a little bit longer than expected because someone turned up well quite a few people turned up to use the dryers like i think they obviously did their washing at home and then don't have a dryer so they came to dry it and uh, yeah so all the dryers were full when my washing had finished which was a little bit annoying because then i had to wait around for free dryers but anyway it's all done and sorted now so we are off to find our park up for the day This park up was a little bit of a bust because the main reason that we came here was because there's a beach that's supposed to be really beautiful and well when we went to see it last night it was at high tide which meant that we couldn't even get onto the beach we've just had another try again now and it's at high tide again <laughs> Just bad timing. Yeah, even though Google says that it should be low tide at the moment. So whatever. Um, it ended up just being parked in a car park, no view because there's bushes there as well. So yeah, yeah, a little bit of a bust, but it's a little bit sloping as well. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we are now in County Wexford, and there's supposed to be some really, really, really beautiful beaches around here. It's kind of like a less of a visited part of Ireland because it's right down, right down south, um, kind of out of the way a little bit. Um, so hopefully all the other beaches are going to be a little more accessible we'll see um and yeah we will tell you why we are in county wexford in the next video because we are here for a very specific reason so we're going to call it a day there thank you very much for watching we hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a big thumbs up and drop us a comment down below as well if you are not subscribed then hit that subscribe button as well and hit the little bell button while you're there so you can get notified every time we post a new video and we will catch you next week see you then Thank you.